Okay, so I have been in between places to record this video and I've been so nervous to record it and I am at this point just to say screw it let's do it um, so we're here we're recording my second vlog this has been a year in the making actually uh, I have been wanting to do this for so long but yeah imposter syndrome got the best of me and I didn't want to put this out there because I'm so nervous and I'm just what if I do something wrong or say something wrong like I'm petrified for it but we are here and I just need to keep telling myself that you know what it's about my experiences and what I do and what I went through um not went through just like experience in general I have been to three motorsports events last three motorsport events last year i've been to the cape town epre like a formula one a formula e race been to a formula one race and i've been to a rally race all three completely different like experiences it's just wild to me but um i kind of just kind of want to break down my you know experience at the formula at a formula e race and just you know giving a bit of like a guide to what it is like going to an actual race what you need to know in preparation because i know the formula e season has started um it starts pretty early on into the season compared to like formula one it only starts like end of feb slash fit like beginning of march so the formula e season actually starts in january and runs up until like just after like the summer break for formula one so um i guess this is a girl's guide to formula e <laughs> So Formula E is very different to Formula 1, not only in cars, but also in when it comes to different like racetracks and, you know, race formats. Formula E, for example, only drive on street circuits because it's more sustain sustainable than that. Or they, and they actually just go from city to city that believe, that strive to be like all sustainable and green or whatnot. So recently they obviously went, came to Cape Town like a year ago, not recently, like next month, in a, like a year back. They came to Cape Town which is actually the first all-electric motorsport series that happened to be in town and I was livid for this like this I have been waiting for this moment because once they announced it there was obviously a postponement to it and um they finally came to Cape Town and I was so excited but leading up to that obviously I needed to educate my friends because none of them knew how exactly it worked so I'll put like a little screenshot here of the race format the race format is diff very different like quali qualies is like an elimination process um like Formula One gets obviously split into like Q1, Q2, Q3, where um, Formula E is completely different. They get like split up into duels and it's like two groups, like 22 drivers get split into 11-11 and then they just, you know, it just fizzles out from there to explain it like very briefly. But um, I'll also drop the link below or in the comment section for you guys to actually go and check how it exactly works. Obviously, we needed to run through that and just figure out exactly how the schedule will work throughout the day. So it started super early because sometimes they do two races on a Saturday and a Sunday, but in our case, it was only the Saturday. So which means they had like practice qualies and a race all in one day. So it was going to be like a very long and then a very eventful day. So we actually started super early, super, super early in the morning. Um, mainly because we wanted to get all the action but also secondly there was this thing apparently i don't know if it's for all the races but it was definitely for cape town where if you arrive super early and you go to like the information desk you can get pit lane tickets to actually meet the drivers like a meet and greet with them so i was like listen listen we might not get this this event again so we might as well just full send and this is like the closest thing we have to formula one at the moment so let's just full send wake up super early um we actually didn't go to bed come to think of it so we watched drive to survive the previous night and then i gave like a little presentation yes i made a presentation about all the teams all the drivers just so my friends can actually pick a team to support so there was already a very big queue at like 7 a.m in the morning there so once we actually went through the gates we sprinted and we didn't we underestimated how long the walk would have been we literally walked 15 k's that whole day and climbed 3,000 flights of stairs that's a lot like that is a lot and it's february it's like the hottest time of the year in cape town we basically made this deal like we'll only get merch if we get pit lane tickets because then the drivers can actually like sign our caps and i actually 
bought a cap so you can see there's not a lot of like driver's signatures on there we were kind of late so i think i got nine signatures out of 22 but i don't mind because i got all my favorite drivers so yeah i was a major fan girl of mitch evans leading up to that so i was just like ah. at least i got his signatures but you know I, I learned to like them all and they're all pretty like unique in their own way because we're all human you know if you're not one of those people that actually want to get merch because funny enough this cap costs me a fortune it cost me 900 bucks and it's just it's it's for the plot you know it's actually funny because as i exited like the mini pop-up shop for this cap the guy at the door was like oh enjoy your expensive cap and i'm like thank you i will so at least i got something to every time i look at it i'm like oh. I was there i got this whatever and it's a story to tell but if you're not one of those people that actually want to buy expensive merch you can actually either hand these out let me just get them all together you get like these driver cards as you can see i have a lot of them all signed these are gorgeous by the way and also can we just take a minute i just this is now obviously this is jaguar um this is how it looks on the side and this is how this is it. and they have gold pens because they're black and gold genius so yeah and that's obviously reigning champion of last year jake dennis unpopular opinion this man sounds like george russell i'm sorry it's just it had to be said i just need to take a moment for this guy um anyways just want to take a moment for this guy he was probably my favorite to meet he literally actually took the time and just said more than two words to us and he was literally the sweetest he was the only one standing as well so he was just like signing cards saying hi whatever how are you the whole thing so such a surreal experience and he was literally we, we still talked about it like till this day he was literally by far our favorite for the rest um it kind of put me off of asking for more signatures because you get like a stack of cards like this and they just need to sign it and give it and there was no like format of like standing in a line waiting your turn it was just like these mosh pits um in front of them so they probably would just like sign give sign give sign give but i also for us it was like a whole experience where just look up and say hi and then give the card you know um i think that was like a major thing for all of us but i can also understand because i would freak the fuck out if if all these people were there and i'm just like oh, i can't sign everything and i need to leave for a race in like five minutes so i get that but that kind of put me off to actually waking up super early for the grand prix to actually get driver signatures so i was like you know what you live your life i'm not gonna bother you it's one less person and then also sasha i never knew about this man and then i saw him at, at formula and i was like okay those who know, no. Yeah, this was the very first motorsport exp like event that I've ever been to. And I know there's a lot of controversy of people saying, um, yeah, but if you've been to like a Formula One race, like a Formula E race doesn't compare. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you are on my shoes and you've never been to a race before in your life, seeing those cars turn that first corner, it is... <sighs> It is so like it. It's the best. It's literally the best. It's something that will stay with me forever. And it's just like I got to spend it with some lovely people as well. So it's the best. It's the best. As for food and drink, this was another thing. Um, super cheap. I thought it was going to be much more expensive. So you get free water like dispensers. You grab a cup. You get water by yourself. There were charging stations in the food court. So that was quite nice um and that i kind of enjoyed they also had like a willies and if you know me you know i love a willies which had chuckles speckled eggs the ogs the ogs i got a nice iced coffee it was just it was just everything so you could have also like bought buddha vojrula like proper south african food and it was just so nice and another thing as well on top of that as we're sitting in the food court like there is um formula e mechanics just or team members just walking among you and it's so chilled like i loved it it's like there's no thing of like oh i'm this big headshot like I can't sit with you i can't eat with you and they were literally just like right there i could have walked up to them like hi but my social anxiety was like no so i think that was kind of another thing and everything basically there was free so if you wanted to do like sim racing that was free if you wanted to attend like the concert that was free so everything was the majority like charging stations all that was free water was free the only thing you actually had to pay for was alcohol and um food so that was a plus point <laughs> 
So we had a chance to actually stand in line and see the drivers like run past us, the winners, and just like clap our hands. And we actually saw the podium ceremony up close, um, which I've never done. You could literally smell the champagne. It was right there. Um, so I think that was quite fun. And it's, it's a very experience if you get to see every, if you get to do like the whole thing from the race to the pit lane to the podium ceremony. And I think Formula E makes it very like all inclusive, which I love. And it's like, it's anybody's game. If anybody wants to come, you can come and um i enjoy that much like a lot because you could walk next to presenters you know i walked past naomi and it's just like you guys are right there like right there and it's just i always see you on tv like with, with before a formula one race or after formula one race so that was like oh my word okay and i think another thing for me was like like i spoke earlier about how casual the teams are i mean when we walked out um after the podium ceremony on our way out i literally bumped into someone and i was like oh shit sorry um and then it was literally pascal verlein which is one of the drivers and i was like oh and then he was gone so he i don't know he probably hates south africans for bumping into him right now but um i was like it's so interesting to see them just walking among us where in another world it would never be like that. Um, with Formula One drivers, if Charlie Claire walks past me, you would you would know he's walking past me because everybody would know. So I think that was kind of nice because they could just actually actually come here and just be themselves and not be interrupted every five seconds. Um, so that's also like plus points. So yeah, there's obviously a lot more to it. Like like I said, this is my very first motorsport event, and I enjoyed every second of it, and it's been such a surreal experience. Even if I've burnt myself like a tomato and walked 15 kilometers and climbed 3,000 flights of stairs um, that nobody preps you from. So take another just sm small tip. Wear comfy clothes and bring a cap and wear sunscreen because you are going to walk a lot in comfy shoes. I saw people walking in heels. I wonder where they are now because like it's been a long day. Um, so yeah first motorsport event it's something that i will forever cherish and i would definitely recommend anyone who gets like the chance to go i would definitely recommend going um it is quite different to formula one but it is something to check off at the bucket list i would like to watch formula e in europe like an underground one or something like that like in london i mean you know formula e hit me up but it is, it is something that I do recommend everybody go and do. And it's such a fun experience. And just to hang out with your friends. It's kind of reminiscing on my old days of Formula E. And I just want to go back. And it's just... So that was a bit of a guide to going to your first Formula E race. But um, there's more coming um, your way. Like I said, I'm going to do a Grand Prix one. An Austrian Grand Prix one. And maybe I'll do a rally one. I don't know. The rally was a bit of a blur. Because I had a lot to drink that day. But... Um, yeah and then i'll see you guys next week <laughs>